What's going on guys? It's me, Traveling Power Rangers fan, here with a new video. Favorite day of the week, mail day. Got a big box. What could be in it? That's right, it's time for the Lightning Collection Dagger unboxing in comparison to the Legacy Dagger. So, let's get to it. The box is much bigger than I expected. Ooh, I'm already excited. See a little bit of the box art. Super pumped. Safety first. Oh man, it's much thinner of a box. I guess it's about the same as the other one. So there it is. Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Dragon Dagger. It's display in box is interesting. Um, it looks like that flap is just there. Interesting. It's got the, uh, it says trumpet knife, flute sword. No, of course not. It's green rangers, dragon dagger. The one that plays the classic iconic dragon sword call without even moving your mouth. <laughs> Cause he puts it up against his helmet, you know? So. This thing comes with a stand in it, um, and uh, multiple sounds, everything like that. Um, we're going to do a comparison between it and the uh, Legacy Dagger, which is on the display shelf, and I'll go grab. Oh, if you know anything about me, Green Ranger is uh, one of my favorite Power Rangers. So, when they announced this toy, I was very excited to get it. Now I'm very excited to open it and display it. Uh, I don't know where yet because the display is kind of full. So, got your paperwork, which is oddly green. I don't know how I feel about that green color. And, oh man. Uh, right off the bat, I'm not a big fan of the, the look. Um, the gold look on the other one uh, was pretty awesome. I actually really liked it with the like the real gold look. So, boom, unboxed. Oh wait, ah, oh, there's one more in there. So of course this is uh, Hasbro's first weapon that they put out. Um. Fun fact, I don't think it comes with batteries. No batteries in it, so not even usable right off the bat. But right off the bat, I can tell it feels not as heavy as the legacy version, which could be useful for um, cosplay uh, and actually we'll put this in my cosplay sheath and see how it fits so um, I will cut the video and BRB with more video clip of it with batteries so we can try out its sounds uh, then we're going to do a true side-by-side -side of the uh, Legacy one and uh, see which one we decide is better. Alright, we're back. And we've got the Legacy version. First thing I notice, major difference in height, uh, weights. The Legacy version is much heavier. Um, much, much heavier. Uh, it's got better gold, I'd like to think. Uh, I like the shinier look better. Um, I like it's on off switch it's nice and easy to hit uh, with this one there doesn't appear to be a on and off switch because that same on and off switch makes it glow so glows makes this really weird noise um, get three buttons uh, one two uh, 
the third one plays the Power Rangers theme song? I'm gonna skip it because I don't want to deal with like copyright. Uh, but hey, so it's got the base of it turns so that you can uh. Play your own theme. Uh, and then it does that awkward, terrible noise. I don't like it. Uh, but hey, the stand, I'm a fan. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, the dagger itself, it's got like a weathered look to it. Um, that's kind of interesting, but so much lighter. So let's see if it fits in my sheath. Oh, it fits in there perfectly. It fits in my sheath that I use for cosplay. So that'll probably become a new cosplay. Uh, it'll drag down the belt a lot less. I think it'll be pretty awesome. Um, yeah. That button doesn't do anything unless it's turned. So overall, it's got its advantages and its disadvantages. So uh, there, it's about the same. Um, oh, its stand actually holds legacy pretty nicely. Um, I like the clear on and off switch on the legacy. I like its gold. I like that this has lights. I like that you can play your own song. Um, honestly, it's, it's not bad. It's nice and light. Um, yeah, that's, that's definitely going to go in to, uh, the display somewhere. Uh, so now I'll go ahead and include some footage, uh, some side-by-side -side footage of this stuff, uh, compare its boxes, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. Alright, so here's the side by side Legacy versus Lightning Collection. Uh, this one's got a nice button here where this one, this button does not exist. Um, yeah, a lot shinier on the Legacy, uh, which I think is, it has its advantages for display. Uh, and ultimately, I think this Lightning is probably just going to be better for cosplay. Um, Here's the neat stand that it comes with. That way, you can display it nicely. Uh, all in all, not bad. I like it. Uh, let's check out packaging. So, here's the Lightning Collection box. A little in-depth more. Got the nice corner piece, red yeah, Green Ranger, you know, like they're doing with the rest of the Lightning. Yeah, so if you need to summon a dragon sword, this is definitely the way. Some sweet photos from back in the day. Yeah. So, uh, right off the bat, the legacy is easier to display inbox because it's just open all the time where this one has the flap. Uh, it looks like it might be removable, but it would probably damage the box. So I won't risk that. But yeah, there's your uh, there's a side by side look of the guys. So there's your side by side comparison. Um, hopefully, it was informative enough to let you guys know if you want to buy this product. Uh, I think it was sixty nine ninety nine plus shipping. Um, shipped from Entertainment Earth already. I know more retailers are still getting it. Hasbro is going to be shipping it. Uh, all the good people, you know, who you want to get your Power Ranger toys from. So, if you like this comparison video, let me know. Uh, if you want to see more comparisons like this, I'd like to do some comparison maybe of the uh, Lightning versus Legacy collection uh, that I can. Uh, I have almost the whole Mighty Morphin line already. Uh, do Lord Draken, Zeo, whoever we have, we can do maybe some comparison. Uh, you guys tell me. Uh, but ultimately... Oh, the directions try to explain how to play the song, but it did not work great for me. So, uh, have a great day.